Well, hello, my YouTube family. I told you. With these new responsibilities, there either may be a video or not. I didn't leave work yesterday until 5 after 6. Because you know that pile that they keep talking about? It just it, it, ever growing, ever growing. And if I didn't stay late yesterday, I would have stayed late today. It's Friday. I want to be home ASAP. Even though back in back in the day, only a couple of years ago, I used to stay late on Fridays. I try not to now. Because this, you know what's slowing me down is the other ones fuck up that now that I have to do. That's what's slowing me down. Because it's just an added responsibility on my plate. And do you think Queen of Darkness gives a shit? Nope. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, she hired two newbies today. One, I think I'm going to have a problem with because she started with attitude. Your first day, you going to start attitude? Boo-boo, everybody that comes in has to fill out these forms because of COVID and because of Queen of Darkness and because it's my new responsibility. So I handed her the sheet and she's standing there texting. That's te people are like behind her. And I said, excuse me, excuse me. And she's looking at me like, I said, could you please fill this out for me? Oh, okay. Snatched it, check, 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 hands it back to me. I said, okay, thank you. Now I have to take your temperature. <sighs> Bitch, your first day? Your first day. This is this is this is you on your first day. So I didn't realize that she was a newbie until I said, "Who would you like to speak with?" I said, "Excuse me." And she said, "Queen of Darkness's name." I said, "Oh, okay." She goes, "You know what? Never mind. I'll just call her." She had filled out the sheet that I needed to. I went into Queen of Darkness's office. And I said, um, there's a person who's about to call you. And then I think as I'm saying that her phone's ringing, I said, that could be her. Um, she's got a bit of an attitude. This is her temperature. And I'm just going to place it. And Queen of Darkness goes, oh, that's the new associate. I said, oh. Did I say good luck? I said, I said something. And she said, oh, I will. But she's saying, oh, I will. Like she got to add, like Queen of Darkness got to add it to me. I just turned around and kept it moving. She'll deal with her. So her and the other newbie, who was very nice, went in the back. Queen of Darkness took them back there to do whatever she needed to do. And by the end of the day, I get an email. Now, it could mean nothing, actually. But I get an email from Queen of Darkness. On Monday, could you bring so-and-so to the big conference room, which was the nice one, and could you bring bitch uh, to see me? I'm hoping that it's to see you so you could tell her, I'm sorry, this position is not for you. And thank you for your services and goodbye. That's what I'm praying. But I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> Today, by the end of the day, like about 3.30-ish, People were coming in. I didn't even bother taking their temperature anymore. I said, you know what? Forget it. There was a big enough pile. Oh, speaking of which, did I put it on up? I might have. I might have not. Whatever the hell. Um, 
there was a big enough pile to make it look like I had done everybody. You know what? Now I'm going to, if if I take your temperature, I take your temperature. If I don't, I don't. She don't know who's coming in. She's in, she's in her high tower office. So if I skip a few, she ain't going to know shit. I'll just make sure I have a good amount to make it look like I did everybody that came in the office. Okay. It is the end of the week. I thought this week would never end. Um, yeah, I really thought this week would never end. No, really, I did. My entire being aches. My entire being. Every ounce of my body hurts. Because with this new responsibility, I have to get up, get up, get up. Because I have to constantly keep taking people's temperature. Get up, get up. And then I'm also packaging, which means I have to bend down. I have to pick. So... I am in a world of hurt, but I have to get used to this hurt, and I have to keep my mouth shut at work. With this new bitch that's starting, I I, I really I really don't. If if she is staying, and if Queen of Darkness isn't gonna give her the axe on Monday, on day one, which I'm praying that she does, but if she doesn't and she remains I want the least amount of contact with that young lady the least amount of contact with her because it's little bitches like that that usually find a way to trip me up and then get me in trouble or just make me lose my job altogether AKA uh, one of the law firms that I used to work at. Okay. Um, lips of the day. It would have been a Milani color statement lipstick in the shade number 88 raisin berry I like this shade this is raisin berry pretty much true to form this is raisin berry and this is raisin berry Oh, I miss that candy scent. I really do. Mm. Looks nice. Would look better with a liner. But this is Raisin Berry. Smooth Milani color statement formula. Love it. Nice and creamy. Candy scent. Loving it. So there you have it, Milani Color Statement Lipstick in Raisinberry. Raisinberry. Okay, so thank you, God. This is one of those weekends where, well, I actually do have to go out. Because, oh, uh, let me tell you something. Oh, this morning, oh, this morning, every Friday, as you know, it's payday. Why wasn't I paid? 
Now this had happened before where there was a bit of a glitch and then I waited like about 15 minutes and then the payment fell in. So I thought it was going to be like that again. So I said, oh, okay, let me just wait 15 minutes then it'll probably kick in. 15 minutes became a half hour. Half hour became, let me wait until I get to work so I can see if I got paid. No, even before then. Uh, half hour became, I'll check after I get out of the shower. I got out of the shower. I texted Queen of Darkness. I said, um, good morning. Uh, is there something wrong with ADB? Uh, because, and all I got a whole maybe hour later while I was at work. Well, when I parked my Jeep, I got the text. I'll check into it. Bitch, you better. With this added responsibility and shit that you keep giving me, I better get paid for it. What? So as it turns out, it was a global company thing. I checked before I started this video. My money's in. Well, it's out now because I'm paying bills. But, you, you, you know, regardless. So normally on Friday, as I'm going to work, I stop off at my little favorite mailbox and put my, but I didn't th this morning because I didn't get paid. And it's Jeep payment. By the way, that's pretty much the whole check. So I have to go tomorrow morning and mail. It's going to be late regardless. But I just want it in there and it'll give me an excuse to go out and maybe go to a Dunkin' Donuts and get me uh, my snack and bacon and an iced chocolate. So, yeah. So that'll be tomorrow morning. But at least I got paid. I better had. What? And as for an Amazon order, two halves. I, I mean, I really have to order. It's his food, which is really going low. His food, and I had to get some stamps. Nothing. I couldn't order any goodies, goodies, because there really wasn't that much left. Jeep payment is pretty much my entire check. So, but I had enough to, to pay to buy his food and stamps, and then that's it. So next paycheck, maybe I'll drop something. But regardless, I wouldn't have ordered, excuse me, anyway, because the rest of my other order didn't arrive. But these two, I had, had, had to order, like emergency. So there you have it. So that's basically it in a nutshell, people. After I come back tomorrow morning from the post office and get my snack and bacon, you know I'm going to sit my fat ass either here to watch some videos and enjoy my snack and bacon or on the sofa where I'll probably just end up falling asleep again anyway. Let me tell you what happened to me last night. The utmost intention was to watch Trump and Biden. And for the most part, I did. Uh, until the last 15 minutes. Out like a light. Didn't wake up until 20 minutes later when they were doing the recap. I said, I watched 45 minutes. It was two hours. You mean to tell me I could not keep my peepers open for at least the last 15 minutes? I certainly did not. So I went on my Facebook page and I said, I fell asleep last 15 minutes. Who won? Of course, People who were for Trump said Trump. People who were for Biden said Biden. I would tend to believe them because what I was watching, he kept his cool. He didn't go berserk 
Meanwhile, Trump is with his hands this way, this way, his hands all over the place. I said, look at this fool. Look at him. Not making a damn bit of, not one iota of sense. Not one iota. How intelligent people can follow this man down to the depths of hell, it really boggles my mind. It really does. Biden is no Obama, okay? Granted, Biden is far from being an Obama, but he's got sense. He's got intelligence. He makes sense when he talks. This moron who is, who is occupying the White House now is senseless. My opinion. But a lot of people seem to think the same thing. So I'm not alone in my opinion. Okay. I keep saying I'm not going to be talking about politics, but I had to mention the fact that I did watch the debate because I didn't watch the first Biden Trump. I didn't watch the first one. I, I I watched the last 15 minutes of it. This one, I wanted to watch the whole thing and I missed the last 15 minutes. <sighs> Regardless, you know, it's not going to change who I'm going to vote for. So that is that with that upon that. And on that note, I think I think I'm done. Like I said, my entire being. If I could just sit in a vat of Bengay without burning my skin off and other precious parts of my body, I would do so. Uh, but I may just, you know, I may just take in a leave or an Advil. That'll do it. I'll take an Advil. Because for the most part, it is the back, but I'm aching all over. It, it's, it's the back. It's the back. Advil to the rescue. On that note, it is Friday. Thank you, God, sweet Jesus in heaven. It's going to be a relaxing weekend. I am going to max and relax. And oh, by the way, pretty much all week, I did not wear any liquid foundation because it was warm. This entire week was warm. But this was pretty much what I wore all week. I have got to tell you, I am in love. I am so in love with this. I mean, the packaging has a lot to do with it. Is that sad? The packaging has a lot to do with the fact that I, I, I love this. I love this so, so very much. It gives me, a, it keeps my skin looking a little dewy. And I don't even have to powder anything. I don't, I really don't. I just powder underneath my eyes because I do the, um, you know, my, my concealer and then the powder and then I, you know, brush off the powder. And then, but, but this just, I do, I do the eye powder thing afterwards, after I put this on. I'm so in love with this. I'm in love with this more than I'm in love with any of my other dewy foundations. But this mixed with my dewy foundation, it's it's hard to mix. That's the problem because it's a spatula. It's a spatula. So I can't really mix it. I have to slap, 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 slap on my face with this and then if I'm using a liquid foundation, I dab the liquid foundation with my sponge and mix it on my face. Still comes out heavenly. But this alone, love. 
I am so glad I bought this. I am so glad I bought this. And as long as we're having the, the, this, this uptake of warm weather, this is all I'm going to be wearing. And this is all I wore. I've got a little bit of the hula bronzer on me. I've got a little bit of the, I'm showing you now everything. Uh, highlight my all over glow in flushed glow. My blush is CoverGirl Cheekers in Rock Rock and Roses. Rock and Roses. Um, my eyeshadow is LA Girls Nudes. And this is the shadow that I'm wearing right here. This one where my finger's at? No. Yeah, this one. This one where my finger's at right here. Love this palette. Love this palette. LA Girls Nudes. Love that. This palette. Love. And that's basically everything on my face. I've got my e.l.f. mascara. Mineral infused mascara. And that's basically it, people. I have shown you face of the day, actually. This is it. But, you know, this is the main focus right here. This is the main focus. Now, if you kind of glance at the whole thing, you get a little bit of a glow in my face. Uh, but this is the main... The main party right here. Okay. Well, hold on. Uh, there we go. There we go. Okay, so that's it. That's all. This is Lips of the Day. I like it. Me like it a lot. And I will talk to you tomorrow. No, not tomorrow. Tomorrow is Saturday. What am I doing? I'm tired, people. I'm so tired. You just don't understand. I have to pop an Advil right now. So I'm going to go. I love you. I love my YouTube family. Hit me up. Let me know what you think, and I will talk to you on Monday. Have an excellent weekend, a safe weekend, and I will talk to you on Monday. Okay? Mwah! Bye now.